Hey, it's Friday 16th. It's Trisha the Knitting Lady. I will be announcing the winner of the books toward the end of the video. But look at my jasmine plant. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just all over the place. I bought this piece back in Scion National Park in Utah. I didn't even pay that much for it. It's very interesting. A Navajo woman there weaving a rug. I'm so glad I bought it. And it will go with me when I leave. Hi, it's me. I'm sitting here in bated breath watching the computer. I have my credit card already. The tickets for um, the St. Louis Cardinals are supposed to go on sale for May, and I'm at the MLB website. I do have an account with them. We had tickets last year, and of course everything got canceled. So, and if any of you watching don't know what LMB stand for, it's Major League Baseball. I know we're all supposed to be mad at the baseball teams, but still, I want to go see a game. My son and I want to go out to Missouri in May and go see the St. Louis Cardinals and then the Kansas City Royals. So let me take a little peek, see what's going on. They're supposed to go on sale at 2 p.m. Central Time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, let me pause this a minute. Hey, it's me again. I'm back. Probably saying, well, where did you go? Well, I did get the tickets. I had to call and wait on the phone half an hour. Um, I couldn't get through, you know, through the um, website. There's a reason for that, because they want you to buy more expensive tickets. And I did. I figured, what the heck. Um, it's nothing we're going to do again. I shouldn't say nothing. Is that the right way to put it? I don't know. It's one of the lifetime trips, maybe. Uh, Kansas City Royals are still not up for sale, so at least I got the um, St. Louis Cardinal tickets. We'll be going to see the Mets. You know, and the guy on the phone was very nice. He said, well, you are Mets or a Cardinals fan? And I said, well, we're baseball fans. So, um, we are Mets fans. But... Cardinals always remind me of the girl I grew up with. Her father was a big Cardinals fan, and he named his house down the Jersey Shore the Cardinal Roost. So that's in honor of Mr. Sawicki. So I'm back. I got my tickets, and then I went to the Sour Barn and met friends and had a drink. And like I said, I'm back. I ate my dinner the last of my vegetable lasagna. There's a store around me. It's not in every state, it's called Lytles, and they had um, frozen, you know how they have frozen lasagnas, but had frozen vegetable lasagna. And it, it's tasty. It's a lot of work for me to make lasagna just for myself, you know, from fresh made. If I had a crowd over, okay. Oh, I want to show you this tea I bought. I had to send away Amazon for it because, um, in fact, the girl I met before with her boyfriend to have a drink, Kelly, she had given me a sample of this Red Rose strawberry cheesecake tea. And she had bought it in Walmart, Walmart, Walmart doesn't carry it anymore. So I had to go online to get it at Amazon. So I got a, a four pack, not of just of this. I got the cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, lemon cake. I didn't try that yet. I'm drinking the caramel apple pie right now. It's tasty. And what other kind? Blueberry muffin. So. 
I'll have my herbal tea for a while. So let me do the affirmation for today. And then I'm going to do trivia. And then I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway. So the theme for today, April 16th, is life worth living. It's faith in something and enthusiasm for something that makes life worth living. And that's from Al Oliver Wendell Holmes. Cynical, aloof, done it all approach to life isn't sophisticated. It's actually kind of sad. Some people act as if the world were much too boring and dull for them to get excited about it. But whatever their pretensions, their attitude in the end makes them boring and dull. When the fun in being with someone who can't get excited, what's the fun with being with someone who can't get excited about anything, who doesn't seem to care about anything? So the affirmation for today is, I will allow myself to be enthusiastic about the world, whether others think cool or not. It's true. And tomorrow is about entertaining friends. Well, I have too small apartment to entertain friends. <laughs> Sad, but true. Okay. Now, today's the 16th, but yesterday was the 15th. And it usually is the last tax day, but they extend it to May 17th. And I'm not staying till then. So I have till Thursday to work, and that will be it. But yesterday was the birthday of Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Birthday, 1452. That was just yesterday. Died in 1519. So on April 15th, well, April 15th had a couple things that happened. I remember when I worked in, um, when I was manager of the H&R Block office, one of them in Tucson, Arizona, April 15th was the last day and we were going crazy. And we heard the news that there was a bombing at the Boston Marathon couldn't believe it, but that's what happened. Um, they made a movie about that. So, also in 1912, on April 15th, the British luxury liner, the Titanic, sank after striking an iceberg. It's, um, there's a whole historic, there's a whole exhibit in Belfast, Ireland, where they built I think they built a um, Titanic. I went there when I was in Belfast in 2018. Very interesting. And which woman was famous for saying only the little people pay taxes? And that was Leona Helmsley. Now, I have a story about her. Okay, let me tell you about the Queen of Mean. She was convicted of evading $1.2 million in taxes in 1984. That's where she came out with that saying, because she was just so annoyed, you know? Why are you coming after me? Only the middle people pay taxes. So she was fined $7.1 million, served 18 months in federal prison, one month in the halfway house, and two months in house arrest. She died in 2007, at age 87 and left $12 million to her dog. And the dog's name was Trouble. She was Trouble. I used to work in this company in the 80s. Um, I didn't work there that long. It was called, I think it still exists, Remco Maintenance. We took care of all the fine finishing on the buildings, you know, because marble and all those other fine finishings you have to treat them differently than you would, of course, con concrete. Concrete when you wash them or clean them, whatever. And that's what this company was known for. So we had contracts with all the, not all the fine buildings in New York City, but a lot of them. And a lot of Helmsley's buildings we had contracts with. We also had contracts with Trump's. Um, 
and the plaza before he he owned it for a while but someone else owned it before that and i don't know if i've ever told you this story but um well, I, I met Trump, too. He was very nice. I used to run out and get sandwiches for him and the boss. <laughs> but um, Leona Helmsley was the nastiest person. She would call up. Because my job, I had a weird job. My job was to connect. The boss would call in and I'd have to connect them to someone else on the phone. So we had that whole phone system because he'd be touring the work sites in his car. And uh, she called up one time, nasty, you know, not even introducing herself. Hello, where is he? Where's who? Where is, I'm not going to say his name, the boss. And who am I speaking to? <laughs> I knew who she was. So, uh, that's the way she would call all the time. Very nasty. And he, the boss came in one time after making tour of work sites, and he was furious. And he says to me, Patricia, get all her uh, files. Get all her Helmsley files. I want them bring in, brought in to me. I think I'm going to dump all these files. I think I'm going to just end these contracts. So I gathered them, brought them in. There were a lot of files. And I said to him, wait a minute, just think, all the money you would lose. He, he sat there and he goes, you're right, put him back. He goes, but she's so hard to work with. Oh, she was. She was just downright mean. I don't know how anybody could have that much energy to be that mean all the time. So that's my Leona Helmsley story. So what else about the the Titanic. I've always been fascinated by that whole story. I even went to the cemetery in Halifax in Canada to see the uh, where a lot of them are buried. But Milton Hershey, who founded Hershey Chocolates, bought a ticket to um, sail on the Titanic, but never boarded the ship. What had happened is he had a business emergency. He had to rush home earlier. So he arrived, um, you know, I think a day or, or uh, so before the 15th on the German liner America, A-M-E-R-I-K-A. -E Isn't that interesting? But a lot of famous people lost their lives on Titanic. So um, today's the 16th. It's the birthday of Charlie Chaplin. He was born 1889, 19 and died in 1977. He was born Charles Spencer Chaplin in London. I always liked his movies. Even this one movie I'm going to um, talk about. He co-founded United Artists, you know, the moving company, in 1919 with Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks, and D.W. Griffin. He sold his ownership in 1955. He liked to marry young. He, three of his wives were under, were really teenagers. His last wife was only 18 at the time he married her, Una O'Neill. She was the daughter of the playwright Eugene O'Neill, who disinherited his daughter when she married Jacqueline, because he was so disgusted by that. But the marriage last, they wound up having eight children together, and she was with him until the day Charlie Chaplin died. Now, he was quite the composer. He wrote most of his soundtracks. That famous song, Smile, he wrote. Smile, da 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 da, singing, I can't sing. But it's a beautiful song. And that was in the movie Modern Times. Now, one of my favorite movies by him is Limelight. Limelight. He played this um, really used up clown um, and he saved the life of a dancer played by Clara Bloom who tried to commit suicide. The movie star Charles Chaplin, Clara Bloom and Buster Keaton. 
So he was, Charlie Chaplin played a once famous stage clown who rescues Terry, that's the dancer, after she attempts suicide. And she gets better and uh, he asks her to marry him and she turns him down. Um, it's it's a sad story because he really saved her life. And she winds up with another actor who is played by Sidney Chaplin, who was Charlie Chaplin's son. Interesting, very interesting. But it's a beautiful movie, it really is. And the music is wonderful. And that is the music he won his only Oscar for. I mean, he won his only Oscar overall of all the movies and everything else for that music. And it was, today's the birthday of Selena too. And I mentioned Selena a couple of videos ago. Um, she was born 1971, died. Unfortunately, she was shot in 1995. And I always liked her music. So that's about it for trivia. And I'm going to announce the winner. There was only one person that wanted it. So come on down, Sherry Norton. So Sherry, you're the one who won the books, the art books. And I will have more to give away because I was, I'm going to start packing and going through stuff. I already found a couple things. So these were the art books. So Sherry, I'm going to put my email there. Just email me, send me your address. And I probably won't get them out tomorrow, but maybe Monday. Because tomorrow I do have to work. Um, I have to work Monday too, but the um, place where I mail them closes a little earlier. I'll have more time on Monday. That's about it. I can't think of anything else. Um, so I hope everybody's having a good Friday and hopefully I'll talk to you over the weekend. Bye.